Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Keshav, and welcome to another episode of the 642 Things to Draw series. And yes, my friend, the series is officially back on. Let's do this thing. Why did I put this thing right here? This is a marker for me to turn to the right page and I didn't use it. Damn it. So today's prompt would be luminescent plankton. I don't know what a plankton is, but I'm gonna look that up. And I think luminescent means light. So let's do this thing. So yeah, that's what it means. Luminescent means light. And uh, yeah, I Googled that thing and I came to know about that stuff because I didn't know what luminescent means. I knew, I knew it, it had something to do with light, but anyways, yeah. And plankton, on the other hand, I think it means microscopic organisms that live under water or something like that. So these are basically creatures that are, not creatures, they're organisms. They're almost like single cell organisms that live under water. And they have different shapes and sizes to them. Some of them are colorful, some of them are translucent, they're transparent and uh, they, they, they have some weird stuff to them so that allowed me to actually sketch you know different ideas onto the paper and i just went with blobby shapes and for those people who are trying to design characters the way i do and uh, trust me uh, let me t t tell you this before that i'm not that good of a character designer but uh, some people are you know in into the way i do stuff so if you want to know how I do stuff this is how I do it is basically I look for you know good big shapes in my design and uh, that is the basis that formed this design for this plankton and uh, that's what I went with you know some sort of like blobby shape and I saw the seahorse type creature that had like eyes on it on the internet on an image of a plankton and I based my design off of it and uh, you know cartoonized it a little bit added my own style and flair to it and uh, that's how my friend I came up with the design for the plankton some of you might be wondering what happened to the 642 things to draw series right I started the series back in September and I did like two episodes two episodes then I just stopped that is weird and I tend to do that and I tend to start things out on a whim and because I'm too motivated at the beginning and I start those things and I just don't complete them and this happened to be one of them uh, one of those things that I've started and uh, you know didn't follow through but but I'm following through right now and uh, also in the middle I was in the middle of last year, no, not in the middle of last year, at the end of last year, I was kind of confused as to how I want to take my main channel, you know, Cash Art, as I didn't know the direction it was going, I didn't know what to do with it, do I want to make films with it, do I want to make art with it, because I'm a filmmaker and an artist, I want to, I want to venture out and try new things, and I didn't know what I what and where I was actually going and I didn't know whether the 642 things to draw series actually fit into you know this mold that I was uh, trying to build and uh, what I did was I took the whole series and took it uh, into my second channel which right now is uh, modified into cash films which is like my film channel so I upload like you know films there whenever I make them you know high quality production stuff you know not like the ones you see on this channel these are by the way do take time these videos do take time but you know those things take even more time to make and those things are way more polished and well made so anyways i made like four or five episodes on a weekly basis i had uh, varun the person who's in uh, editing this video uh you know edit that series for me and uh, i was i was you know I, he was new he was he's interning with me and uh he is like learning editing he's learning the art of making youtube videos which is like a completely different game than like normal editing 
So he was learning, so I gave him the second channel as like a practice ground for him to you know like uh, get better at his craft. So I tried it over there, it wasn't going well, it didn't fit well with me. Then I, I, fi I finally realized that the problem was with myself, with me, that I need to just pick some damn thing and just go with it instead of trying to find the right thing. That has always been the problem with me, to try to find the right quote unquote right thing and I try these so many things and uh, never not even a single one of them sits well with me because I, I just keep looking for the right stuff and I've realized lately that there is no such thing as you know like the quote unquote right stuff you just pick something and make it right that's what happened with the series that's why this I, I stopped this thing I was like pondering on it I was thinking about it right now I shot like a, one or two episodes of this thing so like a couple of drawings are in the bank and uh, I didn't want to actually edit this whole series because uh, I just want to shoot and direct it and have Varun the intern you know he's gonna be like Brad the editor on PewDiePie's channel you know people like will call him Varun the intern or something like that I don't know <laughs> we'll make it a thing so yeah he's editing this whole series and I'm just directing and shooting it and I'm drawing it of course and uh, so that will uh, allow me some time to actually work on other stuff work on making my weekly videos better work on uh, my other projects that I have and that I need to accomplish this year so like I have a couple of things going on and uh, I've also realized that uh, being consistent is one of the most important things you know for an artist end of section two okay of section three i feel all artists have some sort of this problem this problem with constantly wanting to be high on the emotional scale meaning they always want to be excited about their drawings and art projects and stuff and they always want to be so motivated about their things uh, they in the sense I'm just talking about myself I'm sure a lot of people are like me and that's why they are artists you know artists always constantly look for new things and that is one of the reasons that makes them you know an artist and I always constantly look for things but the problem with constantly looking for things and not settling down with one is that you never get to finish anything and the world need the world needs people who can finish stuff and if you if you start a project you need to finish them and that's how you learn that's how you experience the process of actually starting something and finishing them because it gives you some sort of an experience or a wisdom that allow you to grow you know as a better artist or a better person and that's what i actually feel you know we need to be able to start and finish things I think the cure for it is actually disciplining yourself, you know, to discipline yourself and pick something, finish it and stick with it. So the series, you know, the 642 things to series is finally back because I want to actually put in more volume in terms of my drawing. I want to make more illustration pieces. And, uh, and again, I gotta say, uh, people like Casey Golden, who've been doing uh, some sort of like this prompt series, right? The 500 prompt series and seeing her doing this thing on a very consistent basis and hammering out illustration pieces weekly, you know, on a weekly basis. And uh, you know, some weeks are good for her, some weeks are bad for her, but she gets the job done. And that's like a big inspiration for me, looking at these artists who are actually putting in the work to do the stuff they really want to do. And I want to do illustrations. And uh, I'm not gonna like put these words anymore. I'm not gonna say stuff anymore. I'm just gonna do stuff and you know, like show people through my actions. So that's why I'm bringing the series back. And also this is not hard on me because I don't have to edit it. And that was another reason. And for some weird reason, I am one of those guys who can't work long hours. Or I can, I can work long hours, but not for a very long period of time. Like maybe two or three days, I can put in, put in a lot of time, but I eventually get burnt out. So yeah, I have someone uh, doing the editing for me. I'm delegating the stuff that I don't need to do to other people so that I'm more free to work on the creative part of these things, you know, like the directing, the cinematography, the, the what do you call those things? The drawing, which is probably the most important part of the series. So yeah, the takeaway from this video probably, you know, like 
is be consistent with whatever you do and the takeaway is basically for me to be honest be consistent with whatever you do pick something run with it as long as you need to but finish it whatever you do whatever you start finish those things and that is the thing I also actually finished my Inktober drawing and I'm also working on the Inktober video. So I finally finished my Inktober illustration piece which is like a 10 foot long illustration. And that is crazy. I've, I've finished that thing and it looks amazing. And uh, it shows me, you know, it personally shows me that you just need to start things, stick with them, make progress on a daily basis or as much as you can on a consistent basis and eventually things turn out well and there will be highs and there will be lows and you just gotta go through those things uh, regardless of you know how you feel yeah that is pretty much it for this episode of 642 things to draw thank you for listening or watching because i know most of your artistic folks out there usually turn these videos on and listen to them instead of watching them which is cool by the way because you're you're actually drawing with me man like i kind of like that we're bonding here we're bonding because we're drawing together all right cool anyway thank you for watching and listening i'll see you guys on the next episode which is going to be every wednesday bye bye